Day to day we are surrounded by art, whether it be in the form of music, film or fashion. But what will happen with the arts as we progress into the future? Innovation and new thinking is already apparent in the artistic world, but how will this continue to develop to keep up with the ever-changing world? Traditional art forms have been developed over centuries, but what is the next step that will shape the arts? This is a documentary about artists and how their innovative and experimental processes, techniques and art forms are carving the way for the future of the arts. At the moment I'm very much about creating my own kind of soundscapes and um, I use a lot of beat pads and um, what I've kind of done is used my, tap, my knowledge in tap and made a little board that triggers samples and then I'm able to loop that through different uh, machinery that I have and then into my um, sound system whatever. Um, I think what I'm doing in the arts right now that is innovative and different is really exploring the, the relationship between music and dance. So obviously those are things that have been happening for centuries and that's why people dance because they hear music and stuff but I'm more interested in how with the technology we have now we can enhance that experience. Yeah, I'm trying to bridge that gap using the technology that we have today. So I like to loop noises, I like to um, dance on things that make noises, you know, electronic and trigger different things. In the future, technology and dance is just going to be a massive, massive, collaborative, awesome thing. Like, it, it can't not happen. There's already amazing things happening right now, and then as technology progresses and as dance and movement quality progresses, them coming together are just... It's going to lead to real innovative stuff. It's already making it easier, and then once it's made something easier, then it moves to innovation, and some people, some people find another way to use those things. So I just think there's some amazing stuff going on with technology and dance. Yeah, it's, that's, that's, that's where the future of arts is for me. It's um, people who are willingly trying to innovate and bring things together and people together, because that's, that's how you get good, good uh, material and results. As new technology continues to be created, the arts have the opportunity to enhance and create new forms of art which are fused with modern engineering. Technology in the future may be looked at as an art, using creative thinking to develop new sciences. But Andrew's combination of music, dance and technology is an example of the innovation that will be created in the future by merging technology and art. Even though many new developments will come in the future, all the arts may need is each other. Malia Johnston believes that the future of the arts is about collaboration, not only between artists, but between different art forms. The future may see the arts overcome the barriers which section and define each art form. Most art forms at this point in time exist in their own names. They haven't always been like that. The, in the internet is also part of that evolution in that it's allowed art forms to keep finding new lanes. So dance keeps finding new lanes, it keeps developing into new forms. So it's a really handy thing, but it also is, can silo people off when actually really what they're doing is very similar. But I guess I'm interested in collaboration Absolutely, collaboration is important for the evolution of art. You still need the forms and the experts in the areas because, you know, as a practitioner, you really have to focus on your form. But being able to bring in other experts, you increase the information that you're able to deliver. You also access different interests by collaboration, so you can bring people from other forms to experience, you know, new things. But I'm able to have access to information and ways of doing things through collaborating with 
my interest in terms of the way that I work with people or collaborators is that I don't want them to turn up and go, I'm doing the music for your work. I'm interested in them going, I'm doing the music for myself and it fits into the framework of this work. It's a flowback system of making work where the music might drive the dance and the dance might drive the music, but not one of them is in a power relationship of being in control. They kind of are equally able to sustain their own practice. Malia also believes that making the arts accessible to everyone will be key in the future, no matter what your age, ability or ethnicity is. The idea for me is that you create something that everyone can access it. It's not about only if you're interested in dance or that it's cultural performance, that it's for this age group. I know that that happens and with work a lot of the time it does suit different interests but the internet's already doing that anyway, you know, taking away that sort of framework that you have to have money to dance. People don't have to have money to go to universities, there's now universities or education online and there's all sorts of ways you can access art through the internet. But I do think that as we're heading into the future the access issue is going to be at the forefront of art. Along, along the wall here, I've turned the corrugated iron into lace where I've cut hundreds of holes in it, totally destroying the original function which of course is to protect us from the weather and from the elements and made very delicate, delicate things so far removed from corrugated iron as we know it, that tough stubborn material. I've got a big roll former machine for curving corrugated iron. I found if I put things like hay, wool, tin foil, shredded paper in between layers of wire netting, I could corrugate it and it came out, you know, formed beautiful, beautiful sort of corrugation. I think, I think there are environmental issues that will continue well into the future. We're seeing them now, of course, you know, such things as climate change, of course, is a major thing. It's pollution. And we're all just like little specks in the world. We, we all have to try and do our little bit. Um, but it takes the whole to make something happen. And I suppose with what I'm doing, with recycling materials, it has become quite dominant in, in what I do. I hope, I hope that people who see my art, it sort of has the effect where they themselves will look at recycling materials. Now mine's a very creative way of working and that has a huge influence when I think about it on members of the public because it has such a wide audience. So I think in that sense it's quite positive when people see materials being recycled and hopefully it does actually trick, have that trickle down effect. Recycling, of course, is another thing which we all have to really seriously look at. Cut down the types of materials that we are being produced. Looking into the future, sustainability and environmental issues are at the forefront of people's minds as they are becoming more aware of the damage that is being inflicted onto the world. The future of the arts may look at becoming more sustainably aware, taking opportunities to reuse and repurpose materials. Artists may also be the creative minds behind developing resourceful and environmentally friendly solutions. A sustainable world is one that exists in the future of the arts. From technology to collaboration to sustainability, we will never be able to predict the exact future, but the innovation of these artists give us an idea of what the arts will look like in the future, and also what the general world will look like. Maybe the future will be fueled by art, progressing with a creative mind and seeking with an artistic eye. Bonds will be created between people through their love of art, while other artists will develop with the progression of technology. Artists will be those who unlock the ideas that will make the future more sustainable, inspiring others to challenge traditional art forms and push the boundaries of society. 
but at the heart of it all, artists have the power to voice themselves and make change. The arts have the power to change the future. That is the future of the arts.